So before anything else, I'm gonna tell you a little story about me. A year and a half ago, I used to wear glasses, like thick glasses, because my eyes, the grade of my eyes before was like 525 and 517. I was practically blind. And then I tried this wonderful but expensive thing called LASIK surgery. And now my eyes are 2020. So the makeup I'm going to show you is the makeup that I usually do whenever I go out with my glasses on. Normally I wear contacts but of course there are days where I just want to rest my eyes and just wear my glasses. And let's be honest, glasses are sometimes not flattering. Unless your glasses are like this, I'm wearing this, uh, it doesn't have a grade. But I'm just using it as an accessory and to look cute. Okay, enough of the blabbering. You might get irritated with me in the next 5 seconds. So let's just get into it. Okay, so I kind of skipped filming the foundation routine because how many times do you have to see me do my foundation? I mean, you see me do my foundation more than you see the sun. So yeah, I am done with my foundation. I already set it with a powder and all that. Oh, by the way, I also filled my eyebrows because that's gonna take a lot of time. So yeah, let us move on to the next step, which is the eyeshadow. So first thing we're gonna do is apply base color and I'm just gonna use this base color over here from this Wet n Wild palette. It's just a natural beige color. And we're just gonna put it all over our eyelids. Why did I sound like Australian? Eyelids. So we're just gonna put it all over here. Since we're wearing eyeglasses, people are not really gonna see our eyeshadows. But we just wanna add a little dimension and define our eyes a little bit, you know. After the base, I am going to take this brown color over here from my Maybelline palette and just put it all over my olives. I hate this brush. Ah. Okay, change of brush. I'm now using this fluffy, what is this? Eye shading brush. I got this at showroom call, by the way. To the other side. I am so sorry, guys, for the very, very bad lighting because I haven't figured out how to do the lighting thing yet. After the golden brown eyeshadow, I'm going to take a smaller brush like this and I'm going to get a black eyeshadow. This one is, oh, there's a hair. Oh, sorry about that. Let's start over again. So I was saying, after the brown eyeshadow, I'm going to take a smaller brush like this and get a black eyeshadow. This one is from Essence. And you know what? I love Essence eyeshadows because the pigmentation is really good and they are pretty cheap. So yeah, I'm just dipping my brush to the eyeshadow a little bit. And we're gonna put the dark eyeshadow at the outer V of our eyelids. Just to add that sort of kind of cat's eye effect. No, just to add dimension. Yeah, let's stick to that one. My lighting is so horrible. You know what? I'm gonna move. There you go. That's more like it. I just don't want you guys to see the mess over here. Yeah, because we're kind of fixing our stuff and all that. I hope you don't mind. Moving on. I'm just adding more of the black eyeshadow over here at the outer V. And let's try to bring it a little upward. Just, you know. Blend, blend, blend. Nothing too crazy. Take a fluffy brush and let's blend, blend, blend some more. So taking again this brown eyeshadow, I'm gonna apply it at the bottom over here. Be careful not to poke your eyes, like what I did a few seconds ago. Next thing I'm gonna do is take the black eyeshadow and put it at the outer corner. Hmm, there you go. I kinda liking it so far. 
All right, you guys, next step we're gonna do is eyeliner. And since we're wearing eyeglasses, I don't think we have to do a dramatic wing line. So I'm just doing a sweet tight line. <laughs> sweet. But it is totally your choice if you want to do a dramatic wing liner. I just don't feel like doing it. <laughs> Apparently, I enjoyed putting eyeliner a bit too much that instead of doing uh, a tight line as I planned, I ended up doing a little wing line. So yeah. Never ever skip mascara, of course. Never ever skip lining your upper waterline. So I'm done with my eyeshadow, I'm moving on to contouring my face because, you know, I have a very, very chubby face. So I'm gonna contour my face as if Kim Kardashian is my sister. So I'm taking this e.l.f. Healthy Glow Bronzer in Warm Tan. This is my favorite, favorite bronzing or contour powder ever, guys. It really gives me a divine cheekbones as if I'm 20 pounds lighter. So we're just gonna follow the holes for cheeks, just like that. I'm also gonna contour my jaw, as if Piola Pasquale is my brother. See that? Of course, I'm gonna contour my white forehead. Oh my god, you guys, do you see that cheekbones? Crazy contour. Parang wala na kumakain. Using a kabuki brush, we're just gonna blend, blend, blend everything out. And then I'm going to take this gray powder over here and contour my nose. Fluffy brush, blend, blend, blend. And then taking this, and then taking this light powder, mixing with the base color. And I put it in my nose. Hindi ba? Wala man akong abs. At least yung ilong ko may abs. Moving on to blush, I'm going to use the pink blush over here. You go smile yourself, and then you apply it at the apples of your cheeks. <laughs> I apply it a bit too much, so I'm taking a powder to blend everything. <laughs> there you go, not too crazy. Then using my CD color highlighter, I'm just gonna highlight my cheekbones. Kung sa contour si Kim Kardashian, sa glow si J Lo. For the lips, I'm going to use this Lime Crime uh, Velveteen in Red Velvet. But honestly, you can use whatever red color you have. Uh, maybe a lipstick or a liquid lipstick. I actually swatched a few colors to see what I really like. And I kind of end up liking this. Mm. And Curtis, is that you? Shut up. There you go. That's how I do this look right here and I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Actually, after you watch this video, why don't you go over to my other videos and watch them as well? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up for more adventures with me. Again, thank you, thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh my god, you guys. I look like Betty Lafayette.